Hi, my name is Jim Van Kallenberg, and we're going to be demonstrating total internal reflection using a tank of water with a little bit of milk in it to disperse the light and a 5 milliwatt helium neon laser. Uh, we'll, I'll explain a little bit about what's going on as we do this, uh, but basically if we look at this right here, I've got a 5 milliwatt laser, a small tank, it's a clear tank with uh, water with about 10 drops of milk to a gallon of water uh, to disperse the light. Here we've got our tank of water with some milk in it to cause to give us a little dispersion. Um, and at the left side we've got our, our helium neon laser position. So it's coming in, it's reflecting off the bottom surface, it's entering below the surface of the water so we get total internal reflection. The reflections at the top of the angles uh, are caused by the change in index between the water and the air. Uh, so we're at total internal reflection. This is what happens in a fiber optic and we're going to show a little bit, a little better illustration of that in a minute. The other thing that we can do with this setup is to just have the laser pointed in such a way that it enters the air, it enters the water from the top surface through the air and you can show uh, reflection and refraction using that. So for this part of the demonstration we've got the laser positioned in a different way. It's coming in through the top surface, uh, through the top of the water and uh, you'll be able to see it change direction. It's a little bit hard to see um, because the laser is not so visible. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, there we go. Uh, as it travels through the air. This is just putting a little steam in the path and we'll do that again with the lights out. So now we're going to use a handheld closed steamer to put some steam in there to scatter the light. The light is very directional. We can't see it unless we're looking right at it. But this is going to, the, the steam will have the effect of scattering the light in the direction of our eyes. So we'll be able to see where the light is reflecting off the surface. And we're going to see a couple of things. We're going to see the, the change in an angle as the light enters the water from, from left to right. And we're also going to see as it comes out of the water moving from left to right. But then we're also going to see reflections off of the top surface of the water. Okay, now we've repositioned the laser so it points directly through the container. We've got about a one half inch diameter hole at this end of the container and we've got the laser pointed right at it. We've got it stopped up with vinyl tape right now. We've increased the amount of water to about a gallon in the container. And I'm going to open this by taking this tape off of here and catching the stream in this bucket. Let me get my hand out of the way. And you can see the light traveling in the stream of water. This, this is called the luminous fountain. Now you can repeat this demo several times by just sticking your finger in there and then drying that off and then reapplying the vinyl tape. And the vinyl tape will work for several repetitions before it starts to leak all over the place. And then you can just simply pour the, material, pour the liquid back in, pour the water back in. Make sure your laser is aligned with the hole and you can let it go again.